and we're back! <laughs> you know, being content doesn't necessarily come naturally. The Apostle Paul wrote that he had learned to be content no matter what. So if being okay with what you've got doesn't seem to come easy for you, don't worry. You can just learn how to be content just like you can learn how to add or subtract or ride a bicycle. You can learn to be content whether you have a little or whether you got a lot. Whether things are going the way you expect or whether they aren't. But instead of wanting things to be different or wanting more and more, you can learn to be content with the way things are. But the real question is, how can you learn to be content? Well, Paul lets us in on a little secret. Well, not really little. Not really a secret either. He wrote, I can do all this by the power of Christ. He gives me strength. Paul can be content because of the strength that comes from knowing Jesus and because of the Holy Spirit living inside of him. Now, if you believe in Jesus, you can have that same strength. And when life doesn't seem okay or you're tempted to want more and more, ask God to help you find a way to be content. The one thing to remember today is this. God can help you be okay no matter what. Which brings us back to you, Haley. Have you decided what's it gonna be? The shoes over here or what's inside the mystery box? Mm, it's a tough one, yeah. but I've decided to be okay with the shoes. She's going with the shoes. Congratulations! <laughs> woo, 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 woo. You have demonstrated contentment. Yes. That's all the time we have. See you next time on More or Less. Well, what's inside the box? I'm, I'm not telling. Well, I just want to see, though. You gotta be content with not knowing.